Hey, this is Brooke Drum with Printabout.com. Just showing you some things I've learned on the printer belt. So we are printing, but I'm not happy with that first layer. I'm not happy with this filament either. Uh, you can see that first layer is a little sketchy. Looks like maybe some retraction issues in there. So, you know, it's a brand new machine and getting to, to know it and how it responds to different layer heights and tips and nozzles and stuff is uh, a challenge. But one thing that I was not happy with is, I don't know what I was thinking with this transition being so steep. So we, we're dealing with, you can kind of see it, it bubbles a little bit. I don't know if I can show you. It's just a hair of a movement there. So what that forced me to do was I redesigned the belt system and the tensioning system. Instead of it tensioning on the ends like this, We'll go to one screw here, but it tensions very simply in the middle. And these rollers are bigger. These are printed parts, they'll be machined. Um, but look, the, there's no gap now because it's such a slight transition. So if you guys are fiddling around with your own printer belt, uh, you want very little transition. A little bit is okay, but I can't hear any gap anymore. So that's gonna fix that, but uh, also this whole thing is completely self-contained, where this one was like all kinds of crazy things we did that uh, we immediately saw we could improve. So uh, still working on getting the final model done, but I wanted to know, want you to know uh, we're working on it, it is printing. Still waiting on the software from Bill, but he's doing great, I'm not complaining. Uh, he's got me some new software today, uh, of the plug-in that's in there. So we're making progress just a little slower. Also gonna end up waiting on my machinist for some parts, so um, the guys that have bought, it's gonna be a little bit of a wait, but it's real, it works. All right, I'll give you more updates soon.